peace of Christ to all in this video we will respond to this Abdul he is posting this and you will see the funny uh, uh, you know the Muslims when they post something they answer themselves and they praise themselves but nobody want to think what is this post is about what a Muslim says Jesus is not South Baptist American Baptist Bible Baptist is he being stupid or idiot if Jesus is the Lord of the Christians, how he can be any of those? If Jesus is the Lord of the Christians and they believe that he is their God, how he can be from the Southern Baptist Church? See the mentality in very, very little. And then they say, or any of the other 37,000 sect plus. Now the Muslims, they, they, they count numbers and they know exactly how many, 37,000. Uh, you see in Christianity, there's nothing actually, it's called sect. Sect is something people they come with to understand what these people they are about, what they teach, what they preach. However, the Bible says all of us, we are one church. Whoever believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, whoever believe in the resurrection of Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus, whoever believe that he is the only way for salvation, whoever believe in the baptism, whoever believe that Christ is still alive and he will come back, whoever believe that Jesus overcome death, that is a Christian. It doesn't matter what the sect is. So those sects mean nothing really. However, when a Muslim says in his post that Jesus is a Muslim, the funny thing about Muslims, they say that the one who is a Muslim is the one who says Shahada. Can you show me the Shahada of, of Jesus? I will go with you for the sake of argument. Can you say where Jesus, according, according to Muslims, even Abraham, he said that there is no God but Allah and there is no prophet but Muhammad. And even Adam, he said, actually it's written in the chair of Allah, the Shahada. Imagine. Can you show me the Shahada of Jesus that he became a Muslim? Where? You will tell me that the Quran is saying that uh, Jesus, he worship Allah. That is not enough because in Islam, you are not a Muslim unless you say, there is no God but Allah and there is no Prophet but Muhammad. However, we have one million reason to believe that Jesus cannot be a Muslim and Muslims do not belong to Jesus. Why? Because if Jesus is a Muslim, he should teach that having sex with the children is okay, like Muhammad did. And practice it too. However, Muhammad practice and teach that, and the Muslim they follow. Jesus said, those who heard the little one, you see those uh, priests who molest children, they are Muslims. Because they are practicing what Muhammad did, not what Jesus said. The one who molest kids is a Muslim with degree, which means he's a professional Muslim. He's following Muslims. He's following Islam. So if Jesus is a Muslim, how come Jesus don't have a little Aisha at six years old? If Jesus is a Muslim, how come the Muslims don't accuse him that he stole an underwear as the same as they did to Muhammad? If Jesus is a Muslim, how come Jesus did not kill anyone when the jihad is a must for Muslims to do? If Jesus is a Muslim, how come he did not say the miracle of God for me is the Arabic language and he never spoke Arabic? If Jesus is a Muslim, how come Jesus never said in my heaven I have a lot of virgins and Allah will make your penis endless as Muhammad he said? If Jesus is a Muslim, how come Jesus did not teach his people it's okay to lie? As Muhammad he did. You can lie in three cases. To your friends, to your wife and family, and to your enemy who's left, nobody. If Jesus is a Muslim, how come he says, love your enemy when your prophet says, kill them wherever you find them? If Jesus is a Muslim, how come he said that the one who teach lies is Satan and your prophet, he approve lies and he preach it and he say, it is for the sake of Allah. If, if you do it, it's good. How come Jesus never taught taqiyya, which means you can lie for the sake of converting people to Islam or to protect Islam? How come Jesus never said, don't take non-Christians as a friends and love your enemy? So we don't want to repeat yourself. Obviously, Jesus cannot be a Muslim because he never practiced any of those, even in the Quran. In the Quran, and your prophet, he said, 
that every human being is a sinner but Jesus is not chapter 19 verse number 19 Christ is the Holy Son of who as we see in the front of us Jesus is a pure he is holy the Quran call him holy what the Quran says about Muhammad Muhammad is a filthy man Allah gave him a license license to sin in the past and a license to sin in the future and an open license for sin for Muhammad. Allah forgive. May Allah forgive. What's wrong with you, Allah? Aren't you Allah is the one talking? Obviously it's not. It's someone fabricating Quran, trying to play God, but he forgot to switch his attitude. So he speak suddenly without changing the attitude and he's saying that Allah may forgive thee. If Allah is talking, how he say that may Allah forgive thee? Obviously, it is the author of the Quran saying what? May Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad, the past and the coming to come, which means Muhammad was a sinner in the past and he would do more sin in the future. But don't worry about it, Muhammad. Allah gave you an open license for sin. That is Jesus and that is Muhammad. Jesus, the pure Muhammad, the sinner. And as long as your prophet, he said that every human being is a sinner, and the Quran confirmed that Jesus is a human, but he's not a sinner. Every human son of Adam is a sinner. Jesus is not the son of Adam. And that explains why he came from Mary, but not from Adam. Because every son of an Adam is a sinner, according to the Quran and according to Muhammad. And then we will find a surprise. If we go to the Hadith, we will find the following. In Sahih al-Bukhari, it says that Muhammad saying, not me. And this is the reference in the front of your eyes. All right? This is the Hayyut number. You can read it by yourself. The Prophet said, when any human being is born, Satan touches him at his both sides of the body with his two fingers, except Jesus, the son of Maryam. Just wait. Just wait. Why Satan is successful to touch everyone except Jesus and his mother? Can you give me the answer? Muhammad, he said, every human being that will happen to him. Kulla bani Adam Every human being, the shaitan, he was going to touch him in his sides, in both sides, except Jesus. Why? What is unique about Jesus? It's mean when Muhammad he said every human being, it's mean including him, including Muhammad. Jesus, Satan, he cannot do that to him. Why? Because he's holy. You know, when, when it's speaking about the success of Satan, it's mean the success of making you a sinner. The fail of Satan with Jesus because he failed to make him a sinner. And as long as every human being is a sinner except Jesus, then you tell me who is Jesus. Every human being, including the Muslims, are sinners except Jesus. So then you tell me who is Jesus. Muslim is someone who practices every sin in this earth. Because in Islam, even, even looking at a married woman is not a sin. A dreaming about having sexual relationship with unmarried women or even single is not sin. Adultery in Islam is to have sexual relationship with the private part of the women, which means touching, kissing, hugging. Even if you both are naked, this is not adultery. Islam called small faults, not even sin, a lemon. A lemon. And the story speak about in a lemon chapter that a guy, his name is Hassan al Tamar, who came to the Prophet of Islam. This is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, and he can show you many interpretations actually. In Arabic, it shows clearly the story of Hassan al Tamar, the one who sells palm date fruits, where it says that kissing and touching and having sexual relationship with married women is okay. Actually, if we go in the Arabic, we will see the following. But before we go there, you will see that 
kissing a married woman, touching a married woman, being naked with married women is a small fault in Islam. Do you see it? Only when sexual organs go together that is adultery in Islam. This is a small fault in Islam. And the story there is about a married woman who her husband doing jihad. The poor guy, he joined ISIS, then a Muslim guy, he take his wife inside his store, he touch her, he kiss her everywhere, and he have orgasm with her, but yet he did not have intercourse. What the Prophet said to him? Don't worry, this is lemon. It is lemon. He did not even punish him. So, when Jesus said that adultery is anyone, he wished to see a woman in, hers, in his eyes. He wished to do adultery even by his eyes. This is cannot be a Muslim teaching because the Quran, as we showed you, even if you touch a Muslim woman, even if you kiss her, even if you touch her vagina, even if you do everything with her, as long as you don't do intercourse from the front only, this is not adultery in Islam. So don't tell me that Jesus is a Muslim. When Jesus stands for everything against Islam, Jesus said, when you pray, go to your closet. Don't be same as those hypocrites who pray in the corners. When you Muslims, you pray in the corners. Jesus said, when you do, when you do a favor, when you do good, do it to, even to your enemy. Otherwise, you will be no better than those who do it to their brothers. Your Quran say the opposite. So Muslims, Everything you believe in is against the teaching of Jesus. Your prophet is filthy, accused of stealing underwear, child molester, teaching how to hate, teaching how to kill, teaching how to lie, teaching even how to cheat with your wives, and teaching how to be hypocrite, and teaching how to do everything against God willing. And then you tell me that Jesus is a Muslim. For sure Jesus is not a Muslim. This is an insult to Jesus. This is the biggest insult for a human being like me to be a Muslim. It is the biggest insult to a human being to be a Muslim. So how dare you to say Jesus is a Muslim? And look what the what the comments here says in the in the video. Just to show you how how much how much the Muslims are really in madness. They are saying when Jesus will come back. When Jesus will come back. How come Jesus the Muslim is not dead when all the Muslims are dead? How come Jesus is alive when your prophet Muhammad is dead? Not only he is not sinner, not only Satan cannot touch him, not only he is holy as called the Quran, not only he is the word of God, not only he is spirit of God, not only he will be the judge in the judgment day as the Quran says and as Muhammad he said, Hakam al muqsitan which means he will be the king of kings, he will rule the whole earth. Not only that, and then he said to me that Jesus is a Muslim, but make him Muslim. What make him Muslim? Is that because he have a lot of wives like Muhammad? He never have even one wife. Is that because he have children who are going to have sex with them? He never even touch a child. So shame on you Muslims. Think about it. Islam only for the fool. And for sure, Jesus is not a Muslim. Because that, he is not following Satan. Satan have no power over him to put a black magic on him. Satan have no power over him to control his mouth and make satanic verses. Satan have no power over him to control him so he can imagine things never happen. Satan have no control of him so he will have sexual desire for children. Satan have no control of him so he will ask people money so he can pray for them as the Quran says. Take from their money, from their goods, alms, so he can pray for them and purify them. That is your prophet, he's a businessman, satanic creature who love sex with the children, who love to teach lies, who love to teach hate, who love to teach violence, and then you are talking about Jesus, keep Jesus out of your mouth. Actually, even the Quran never say the word Jesus. It is Isa. We have no idea who is Isa. Take your Isa and go with him to where Muhammad goes. Rise is Lord, and Islam is false. I mean to that.